Ooh. Well, that grunt is kind of blind. She didn't see me when I was, like, right there. Let's see. Helium, we'll use you. And our voice will sound all high-pitched and silly when we battle these galactic grunts. We grunts have been assigned two noble jobs. One, to ensure the success of our operation at the summit. And two, to utterly destroy anyone who dares interfere. Good luck with that, you crazy people. Beautifly. Beautifly. I ain't no scared. I ain't scared of no butterfly. Oh, thunderbolts! Kaboom! There you go. So long, Galactic Grunt. I don't accept this. I will not accept that. Accept it. You have been defeated and very easily. Join Team Galactic and then abide by our rules. That would solve... You know, I tried to join Team Galactic at least once. And I was told that I was too young. So all of this destruction and all of this misery that you guys are facing and all of your problems are your own damn fault. I have no sympathy for you. Super Repel over there, very helpful. Hmm, any hidden items hanging out around here? By this dancing Grunt? Hey Grunt, are you dancing? Stop dancing, I want to battle you. There you go. Our time has come, it's Team Galactic's time now. Well, you are after the Pokémon of time in this game, yes. Bronzor? Bronzor? You're coming at me with a Bronzor? I scoff at you. You should be coming at me with a Bronzong. Shadow Ball. Boom. Bye. And that wasn't even a critical. Like I said, Bronzor's just not as threatening in this game, because it's got that dark and, and ghost weakness. In the original Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Bronzor was, was fantastic. Because it was literally... I mean, all of the trainer's Bronzor had levitate, so it was literally only weak to fire. Hidden item? Hidden item? There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Any hidden items around here? This, by the way, this looks very good. Uh, no repels for now. Because I'm outside. And this music is nice, too, but this music was good in the original. Hmm. I think both of these are the wrong way, and I need to continue down this way. So let me scale up with Rock Climb. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the wrong way. Obama Snow! Did I know that was here? Oh well. There's a hidden item on this rock. And it's a nugget. Nugget about it. Machoke? I'm Machoke you out. No, I'm not gonna... It's not worth my time. I'm just gonna sneak through the grass over here. 
scale back down the rocks. And we're gonna go through here. And now I'm gonna activate another repel. Now, is there a hidden item here? Yes. That's exactly what I thought. Wild bee doof. There we go, bottle of PP up. Always helpful. Ah, I know where this leads. There is another hidden item. Is it over here by any chance? There we go, tiny mushroom. Let's go surfing. On a ridiculous looking beeberl. Look, the beeberl's head is stuck in rock. That's just... Oof. All right, Beeberl, up the waterfall you go. I said up the... You know what? Never mind. I don't have that hidden move yet. And there should be a hidden item here, which is an Ultra Ball. Plus Ultra. All righty. That... Us done in there. So... Uh, let's sneak around here. There's the cave entrance that we want to go in, but before I do that... Smash the rock with a bee doof And grab a max potion. Oh, I just think this was another way of getting here. I don't think that this actually leads to another hidden item. I don't think. I could be wrong. Yeah, no. That was just a different way to get where I was going, so no, no repel for right now. I think there is a hidden item in the grass here somewhere. Let's... let's see. Maybe not. Maybe that was also a platinum item. See, the thing is, I, I I don't remember, and I've said this before, I don't remember Diamond and Pearl nearly as much as I remember Platinum. I mean, first of all, my Platinum Let's Play ended literally earlier this year. So that is still relatively fresh in my head as the latest playthrough I've made of Platinum version. Whereas I don't even remember the last time I played Diamond version. Well, let's see if there's any items up here. I will always at least try. No, okay, nothing. Then into the cave we go, Geronimo. Up the rocks. Oh, look. More galactic people. Don't these people ever... Don't these people have a job? Like... Isn't there anything better they could be doing with their lives? Oh, is this the one that has, like, a rare candy hiding behind? No. Okay, I think there... I think there's another galactic grunt somewhere that actually has a rare candy hidden behind them. There is a revive over there, though. I'm gonna poke you with a stick. You're gonna turn back my time to a time before Pokemon. Okay. I don't know what that means. D 
dust ox. Hmm. Well, at least dust ox is slightly more threatening than beautify or uh, bronze or were. Yeah, see, it survived. And it used light screen, which is not great. Because this guy actually has multiple Pokemon. Alright, down it went. Helium grows to level 46. Golbat! Golbat with that light screen up. That's gonna be a pain to take out. That's a good question, Snowy. I don't think Team Galactic and Logic go hand in hand together, though. Goodbye, Golbat. And another Dust Ox, which is going to be more difficult to take out than the first one because of that light screen. Ay, Gavalt. Yeah, see, this will be a three-hit KO. I quad-resist that, you goober! Also, when does Crobat learn that? Oh, hey, light screen wore off, so maybe this will KO. There you go. Alley Capona, level 47. Yeah. I'm gonna struggle a heck of a lot, and I'm actually gonna succeed. Who do I want? Sir... no, not Sir Zaki. Yeah, you know what? Sir Zaki. Swap Sir Zaki in for... Alley Capona. An Aether. It's always a good item. Well, okay, it's not a necessary item as much since I've got Epa Berries. But will be useful. Aha! I snuck past you. You are incompetent. Now I will sneak up behind you and... Turn around. Fine. I will show as much defiance as I feel like, because defiance means if you try to lower any of my stats, my attack will go up. Ah, Stunky. Let's wing attack. And I really do need to find some better moves for my Pokémon, but at least for now... Oh god, Aftermath. Um, at least for now, I think they've all got one or two good moves on him. Although I will say, Gyarados' move set is incredibly solid right now. Like, I don't think there's anything that I would change about it. Or Gyarasace's move set, I should say. There you go, Tramantino level 46, last of the team to grow to level 46. Not standing up to the mighty is incredibly foolish, especially when I'm mightier. That's right, Pokémon are the equalizers, and more than Pokémon being the equalizers, Pokémon means that I am more powerful than you. Like, if you just stuck to fist fights, you would beat me every time, because I am literally just a kid. But no, you, you goofballs insist on using Pokémon so I can defeat you at a children's Pokemon game. There's an escape rope. 
and I forgot I don't actually want to go down, I wanted to go here. And there should be a hidden item here. No? Why is there no hidden item here? Snowy, where did wh wh what did you do with the hidden item that was over here? I could have sworn there was a hidden item there, but oh well. Back out into the wild. And yeah, there is a hidden item around here. Why did you eat the item? That does not seem like a smart thing to do. What? Ah, I see. So there is an item... ...behind this rock, I think. Here? Yeah, bag of stardust. Okay. Is there also an item... Wait. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was not abundantly clear to me that, that that was on a higher level. But yes, okay, I see that now. And yes, there was a hidden item over there. And yes, I already got it. Don't mind me. I'm just being incredibly smart. Like I always am. Hidden item, rare candy. Uh, no. I'm gonna go down here. Is that one patch of grass still there? That one patch of grass is still, yep. No hidden items down here, correct? Yeah, no, okay. But this is the wrong way. Activate the repel. Not the super potion. Activate the super potion! Sneak up from behind, snap neck. Oh, I, f I, I failed the snap neck. Oh well. Golbat! Your Golbat is no match for my flying type. Which is a Scyther that's technically weak to Golbat. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna beat you anyway. See? Yeah, you can use Air Cutter all you want. I don't care. Take another wing attack. You should get up, Snowy. Alright, Queen 12.5%, level 47. The team's getting up there. I turn the tables on you, indeed. Soon, Team Galactic will, uh... Team Galactic will achieve great... Yes. You don't know what Team Galactic is going to do. So you can't tell me exactly what they're going to do. But you just know that they're going to achieve greatness. Okay. Swap out Queen 12.5% for Pino. We'll actually move Kasha down there. Yeah, no, this is good. I like this. The team is all leveling up nicely. Now, what to do? There's got to be a hidden item on this rock. No. I've been duped. I've... Okay, so where's the hidden... Aha! Uh -huh. I was duped, but there was a hidden item. It just wasn't on the rock. That's kind of clever. Now 
now? Is there a hidden item here? No. Is there a hidden item here? Of course, the big mushroom. No! I will continue to drive you crazy because you are my rival and it is my job to drive you crazy. an item? You are. Ah, I see a victim. Oh, I gotta figure out how to get to that victim. But not to worry. The doctor makes all of his house calls today. Ah, there's a hidden item around here. And it's somewhere over here. Probably behind this rock. There we go, rare candy. That's helpful. Hidden item here? No. Ooh, rock climb. They are handing out revives like candy on Halloween. Which is weird, because Halloween was already, like, over a month ago. Well, okay, not over a month ago, but about a month ago. Hidden item over here? No! That's bizarre. With this particular setup of rocks, I would have assumed that there would be a hidden item. Oh well. Dowsing machine never lies. Except for when it does. Ah! You! Battle me! You don't have any... How did you get this far if you have no Pokemon? I call hacks. As soon as I stepped into the wild grass, just in the... It, it Lake Acuity, I was attacked by two Starly. I call hacks. How did you make it all the way this far through a cave? And not get mauled by wild Pokemon. Also, I love how he, like, literally turns his back on me and refuses to fight me. Team Galactic... That is your smartest grunt out of all of them. Well, those and the ones that were guarding the Eterna Forest earlier and refused to, to battle me just kind of pushed me away. No? No hidden item here? Darn, I smashed the rock for nothing. Hidden item here? Yes. Hidden item here, full restore. Perfect. Now, I think there's also an item somewhere on this patch of... Unless there... Well, unless there isn't, but... I could have sworn there was. just walk right past that guy. Nothing to be concerned about here. Sneak up behind. Snap neck. Why do I not have a snap neck option? Bah. Krogunk? Krogunk? Well, that Krogunk is about to have a very bad day. Yeah, you better shudder in anticipation. Kaboom. Stunky. Stunky probably has aftermath. I hate aftermath. 
Math class itself is fine, it's aftermath that stinks. See, look at how much damage aftermath did. Count is 12, level 47. And another Krogunk, what's gonna have a very bad day. There you go. Scyther is indeed the sharpest tool in the shed. Or maybe the sharpest crayon in the, in the light bulb box. Puns are not evil. Yeah, Mount Cornet does have this weird energy. This weird energy that lets certain Pokémon evolve. Dr. Eggman, come on in. And only Garasace, then, would need to level up to 46. Or 47. Uh, Tramantina, you've been doing well. But... Let's swap in Ball Eater. Alright, there's gotta be a hidden item here. My memory just isn't what it used to be. <laughs> I am antagonizing my rival! Consider yourself antagonized, rival. The hoy, another victim. Snap neck! It's my fault that Team Galactic members are in so much good! Good! I live to inflict pain upon Team Galactic. Wormple. Wormple! I have seven gym badges. Seven! And you're coming at me with a Wormple. Do you understand why you are failing? I mean, first of all, you have a level 30 plus Wormple. Level 34 Wormple. This is why you fail. This is why you will always fail. I mean, look, at least you have a Beautifly, but they should all have been Beautifly. Like, literally. There, there is no excuse for you having a level 34 Wormple. You do not have eight gym badges. And again, I will prove it. When we get to Sunny Shore, which will possibly be in this episode. I will prove to you that you do not have eight gym badges. Silcoon. Silcoon. You should have had three Beautifly. This, this is just... No. Beat up that cask, or that, that Silcoon. Honestly. I am not threatened by you in the slightest. Good! I should have left you brokenhearted. If you'd had three Beautifly... Well, okay, things wouldn't have been any different. But... Maybe because of how easily I took out that... But I would have gotten more experience out of it, damn it. Hey, Snowy, prepare to be antagonized again. Ha <laughs> ha! The antagonizing! The antagonizing! No, you won't. I guarantee you, you will not have the Sunny Shore City badge when I get there. I'm gonna get that badge before you. You'll see. You'll see. I'll show you! Alright, let's sneak up this way. Hmm. 
an item? Well, nothing on this particular platform anyway, I don't think. But this way, maybe? Yeah, yeah. There's got to be something. Well, I... okay, that's on a lower level. Yeah, go, go get up, Snowy. Get up so I can antagonize you more with boxes. All right, there's got to be. I was gonna say a big mushroom. That is a disappointing hidden item for it being like located in this remote of an area. Yes, I will use another repel. Hidden item here? Tiny mushroom? Well, okay, at least it's better than a frickin' tiny mushroom. No hidden item here? Alright, into the maw I go.